When I was younger, my twin brother. Yeah, there was two of them. There was two of us, but my twin brother, Mike, wrote on the cover of his physics book, Book of Magic. My Nana is a saint. She did put up with a lot, but your Uncle Mike was sort of right. Physics and magic go hand in hand. Like, look at this. I can change this metal ball by putting it into this jar of popcorn into a ping pong ball. I just have to say the magic word. And what's the magic word? Halushki noodle. Uh, how about density? Well, it is about density, so we will go with density. So you shake up the jar and say, density, and it turns into a ping pong ball. And how is that? In the jar, the metal ball is the most dense object, meaning it has the most mass per a unit volume of the materials in the jar. The ping pong ball has the lowest density and the popcorn somewhere in between. If we were to swap popcorn with water, it makes more sense that the ping pong ball will float to the top and the metal ball will sink. The same processes are at work with our scientific magic trick. We just need to give it a little help. So let's set this science experiment up. Put a layer of popcorn on the bottom of the jar. Set a ping pong ball on top of that layer and pour popcorn on top of the ping pong ball to hide it. Now set the metal ball on top. When the contents of this container are at rest, nothing's happening. The ping pong ball is still at the bottom of the jar, the popcorn's still covering it, and the metal ball's acting like a cherry on top. This is where the help comes in. To help it, you shake the jar in any way, and that gets the popcorn to start moving. And this creates movement in the popcorn that sort of mimics water, a fluid motion. If you shake the popcorn and water next to each other, their motions look similar. That is the motion that allows the physics of density to play out in our experiment. The object with the most density, the metal ball, sinks in the coarse popcorn fluid, and the ping pong ball rises up since it has the lowest density. And just like water. Yeah, it is just like water. So it is sort of science and sort of magic. Please don't. Reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.